Baba in Jesus' name. Baba in Jesus' name. Our everlasting Father, we glorify your holy name. We thank you because you are faithful to us. We give you all the glory, all of our and majesty. We now glorified and exalted in the mighty name of Jesus, our Father and our God. We see that as we are starting this program, you start with us. You release your anointing and your power. You bring the power of sin. You destroy the book of darkness. Every evil seat right and left over every equipment. Let the best we can see in Jesus' name. We feel the blood of Jesus. We start the program in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you and you welcome to the Lord. Yeah. God bless you. Man of God, how are you, sir? Good morning, sir. God bless you. Yes, sir. Can you know? hear me? God bless you. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. Uh, we, I appreciate you. you. Uh, bless God. I appreciate you for being here in the program yesterday. So, I see. Uh, I appreciate for being programmed here yesterday as you you were able to be uh, at least to tell us one of your testimony. We really, really appreciate you so, so much. And now you you said that you are going to continue the program today. Uh, as you, according to when I have an yeah. uh, uh, interview with you yesterday, you said you have several messages you want to share with us here. Uh, uh, so please, sir, uh, what are you having with us today? Which testimony do you want to tell us today? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, let us pray. Father, I bless you because you're almighty. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that changes not everlasting. And learning from this moment, pray that our teacher, Holy Spirit, I pray that you teach us in Jesus' name. Amen. Glorify yourself this moment. Amen. And I pray that you mark us as a, as a candidate of heaven, not a candidate of hell, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Well, um, I will share with you just my my experience in heaven and uh, my experience on rapture. I will just bring it because of our time. And um, by the grace of God, and I know that Almighty God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Um, uh, in the book of in the book of Revelation chapter twenty one, Revelation twenty one, I read from verse uh, eighteen. And the building of the world of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold like a transparent glass. Twenty one. And the twelve gates were twelve piers. Every several gate was one pier, and the street of the city was pure gold, as it was transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb at the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it, for the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. Verse 27 And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defies, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie 
but they which are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Let me just uh, tell you something about this area. I hope you are listening to me. All right. So, by the grace of God, I met, you know, when the Lord Jesus Christ, when I met myself in hell, and, uh, you know, I was, uh, you know, the thought, you know, I was, they were in hell, when I met myself then, I was in pain, in agony, because of the, the fires of hell. And uh, the Lord Jesus Christ came inside hell. He came in. I saw his hand as I told you yesterday. I saw the hands of the living you know, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Then, his hands was like a magnet. The power of his hand was like a magnet. So the three fingers of man, you know, is not up to his finger of the Lord. Um, so, yeah, the hands of the Lord, very bright, very wonderful and fun. And the hands of the Lord was moving inside hell, looking to whom we want to rescue from hell. And uh, when I met myself in that, I was crying. When I saw the hands, I was crying and weeping. Behold, the hands of the Lord came to me and stood before me and the hands of the Lord moved to my back here and stand at my back and pulled me out of hell I prophesied your life this moment those of you that are watching me the hands of the hands of the living God the hands of you know the, the salvation the hands of sanctification the hands of deliverance the hands of mercy the hands of grace will touch you and pull you mm -hmm. out of problem your situation in the name of Jesus. Amen. So what am I trying to say is this, when the hands pull me out of hell, I can tell you, I can't open my back for you and uh, you know, uh, my friend know, he knows me very well, only the men that I can open my back for except my wife. You see, here, the the fingerprint of the the fingerprint of the Lord Jesus Christ is still my, at my back here. The fingerprint of His hand is still at my back till now. So that is the most. I need I need to clarify some things because I, I have been with you uh, in, in Lagos. I've been with you in Lagos when uh, you, uh, yeah. uh, you, you where where you were explaining this to me and. Uh, you you, uh, you 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 show me the where the map is. You show yeah. me where the map is, and uh, yeah. I was uh, I was able to see. Why you see is that when he came back to life after the seven hours uh, death, he died for seven hours, uh, uh, and he went to uh, uh, when, when he was unfortunately went uh, enter hell. Then Jesus Christ rescued him. The hand of Jesus Christ came into hell. And uh, the hand magnetized it back and bring him out of hell. And that mark, when he came back to life, the mark was on his back. The mark will appear in his back, physically. Continue, man of God. Yeah, when I was pulled out of hell, my brother, my sister, as you are listening to me, we just need the mercy of God to get to heaven. You know, there's something that we don't know that God is is an is is holy God. And before you can escape that hell, you you must live the life of holiness and righteousness. And without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. You know, the Bible told us there in, in, in the last verse of what we read that uh, you know that the fight and the you know abomination and lies. All that sin, all that sins that someone is committing on, even though we have given our life to Jesus Christ. But, um, you know, all of that sin, they are inside the defy and abomination. You know, you can see that God separated lie apart. Lie apart. Why? Because the easiest sin 
And see, this lie does not respect all of any man. No respect all of anointing, no respect all of pastor, no respect all of a prophet or you know sister or brother or how deep are you spiritually if care is not taken lies can take anybody lie does not respect that believer neither who sinners the you know sin of life you know is separated lie and uh, lies have took many people to hell don't, don't come, forget that but maybe you have committed fornication you are, or you are fighting or keeping money, all those things you are no more doing. It. Lies. That is why we must pray seriously. You see, lies. Many pastors are lying. So, many people do that. When they say they don't say anything. When you don't reveal, God does not reveal anything. You say, God reveal it to you. Those are the little, little lies, little, little forces that are taking many people to hell. Forget that maybe of fornication or, or fighting or hatred or keeping malice or jealousy or this and that. Read the word of God. Lies. Now, let me tell you this. When I was pulled out of hell, the angels of the Lord appeared unto me. Oh, my God. I prophesy, your own angel will locate you in the name of Jesus. Can you hear me clearly? Yeah. Continue, man of God. So, what am I trying to say is this? Man of God, continue. So, it appeared to me. Yeah. And they beckon unto me. The angel beckoned unto me that I should come. He couldn't talk to me. So when I got to him, he made a U-turn. He took me, uh, we are going, as we were going together, we got to a place, oh my God. That place, it was heaven, paradise to say. The house, the building that Jesus Christ told us that he would go and prepare for, I saw the buildings, the marshals, very beautiful. <laughs> Mother with gold, gold. When we are talking about gold, I saw the mansion of gold. You know, and the play was so bright. And the, the, the floor of the play was gold, golden floor. And the building was gold. And the, come and see the brightness of the place. The play was so bright, shiny, and wonderful. So what am I trying to I saw the place. So what am I saying? When I got to the place, then the agent marched on the golden floor. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the agent marched the golden floor. Then I stepped on the golden floor too. We were going together to cause the whole story, the whole story short. The angel, when I was there, I saw I was so marvel. I was looking at building, building, you know, giant, giant, you know, building that all compared both buildings with gold. So I stopped. I was looking at myself on the golden floor. And from there, the angel was watching me. To cause the solution, he took me where the blood of Jesus Christ is in heaven. I, I saw the blood of Jesus. I saw two angels inside a compound where we enter after we left that golden place. So when we left the place, he took me where the blood of Jesus Christ. He said, Do you know what I'm going to do? I said, No. He said, You will go and ask for the blood of Jesus. I ran toward the two angels and in between them it was blood of Jesus Christ that was in between them and you no know, I was pleading for the blood please give me the blood please give me the blood give me the blood then the angel told me you have you been born again question mark if anybody forget that maybe you are going to church, you are choir in the church, you are pastor in the church, you are doing something except a man being born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. 
So the angel asked me, you have, you have been born again? Have you been born again? I said, yes. Then he had to, he brought out, he said, as you said after him, I mentioned those three, three things I couldn't remember when I came back. So from there now, he said, I should open my mouth. He just brought out something like a golden pen. He dipped it inside the blood of Jesus and he lifted it up and the blood dropped into my mouth two times. When I wake up, when the, you know, from there now, the blood was gushing out of my mouth and I stood up, I ran back to the angel that brought me. From that place, the angel was so happy. He took me to another place. We left that company, he took me to another place where we are now. And the, the angel left me, I was going alone on the golden floor, on the mansion. I was going alone from there, I left the place. To cut the story short, I entered because of our time, I enter one big, you know, auditorium, very large, bigger than, you know, whatsoever you want to call the country in the world. We entered the, when I entered the place, behold, I met the saints, the believers. I met them inside this, you know, auditorium. They put on white garment, both young and old. They were so beautiful. They were so handsome, both brothers and sisters. They were so wonderful. When I saw they were jubilating, rejoicing, come and see them with the garment and flowing, and, you know, etc., etc. Then from there, I was looking for the Lord Jesus Christ. Then I was driving, looking up and down, I saw Jesus. By the grace of God, at the end of our life, we, we shall all see Jesus in Jesus' name. Amen. So, I saw Jesus. The 24 elders were before him. He lied down. He was, you know, not that maybe he prostrated for the 24 elders. He do whatsoever he likes in heaven. That is Jesus. The 24 elders were before him. He was discussing with them. When I saw him, Jesus that I saw, it's not Jesus that you people are putting inside calendar or, you know, put hanging in your room, in your city room, in your church. Or, no, nobody can get the picture of Jesus. All the Jesus that people are hanging on is uh, what the robot, Paul Robert, Paul Robert, uh, Robert or whatsoever. The man that hated uh, Jesus of Nazareth. And the one that they're hanging on again, new one is the Passion of Christ man. That is not Jesus. Nobody can get the picture of Jesus. All the pictures you hang in your house, you better go and remove them. Nobody come from heaven and say, this is the picture of Jesus because he's so glorious, so very glorious. You cannot snap him, not at all. So what am I trying to say is this. I saw him. I have to pass through the saints. I got to where Jesus is. We will get to where Jesus is at the end of our life in the name of Jesus. Amen. So when I saw him after that now, then I, I tapped at the back of his leg. I tapped it. Jesus, Jesus is stood up. The tie I was bearing tie with that tie. He's the one that changed my name from Taiwo to Moses. See, Taiwo, you made it. Taiwo, you made it. He stood up. Come and see. He, he, he was so tall and huge. He stood up. He carried me up. When he carried me, the whole saint was jubilating. And behold, I saw the orchestra choirs. They sang the song of hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 and so and so forth. After they sang the song finished, and Jesus Christ said, it is time for you to go back. I look at his face, he looked at my face with the tender eyes. And he said, my son, before you go, I want to show you what is going on in my father's house. This is where we are going now. This one is very important to the churches. Very important. Maybe next time I, I, may, I may discuss with you about rapture. But let me tell you these important things. You see, Jesus said he wants to show me his church. What is going on in his father's house with the church? We are the church actually, and uh, the Bible says the judgment will start from the, the house of God. Then from there, 
and um, he brought me out of auditorium he said I should come and watch the cloud in heaven he just waved it aside V when he waved it at time, no wonder why the Bible say and God knew from heaven that's some um, um let me just not quote it off here psalm psalm 33 he told us something about it psalm 33 verse 13 look at what he said psalm 33 verse 13 he said verse 13 the lord looked from heaven he beholded all the son of men 14 from the place of his habitant he looked upon all the all the habitants of the earth so we were looking the earth looking at the people on the earth churches and jesus christ can you see what is going on in my father's house he said we, we know the people that i want to show you most is my children those that are given their, their life to me those that are name are written in the book of life. Those that have used my blood to wash away their sin. Those that are preparing for rapture. Those are the people that I want to show you. <laughs> it's not concerned about the sinner. But what it concerned about them is to give their life to Jesus, to be saved and to become the church. Then he said, I will show you in three ways. The, the woman, the men, and the men of God. Hear me clearly. The woman, that means the sisters, the brothers, and the men of God, the pastor, the prophet, whatsoever. Then from there, he said, can you see my children? They are mingled with the world, joining the world. Can you see what they are doing? I began to look. Jesus Christ started shedding tears. He was so, he was so sorrowful of what the church is doing that his own children they are not preparing for his coming and he said he said my people have forgotten that i said in my word that they love not the word on the teeth of the word that anyone that love the, the word is not the, it's not the, it does, they have no they love my father my father he said i'm not the i'm not in the i'm not of the world so like why they are not of the world and jesus said can you see the six stars with the palmy that made the woman with the palmy on their head attachment earring chain and painting with, with their, their face with powder he said can you see them we saw some sister putting on trousers enter into the church right from heaven jesus was watching the his church he said can you see them we saw some sister with the uh what do you call it um short skirt but uh, what, i don't know what you call it short skirt we saw some sisters they bleach their skins bleaching their skins and we saw some sisters with a different kind of dresses attachment whatsoever you call it and look at what the bible says in first timothy chapter 2 verse 9 he said, women are not uh, adorning themselves, not adorning themselves with this and that, with, uh, uh, you know, weaving or whatsoever, with the uh, uh, plating of hair or whatsoever. We saw them, and Jesus said, can you see the way they dressed in my father's house? He said, tell them that if the trumpet sound, and the rap my father asked the archangel to blow the trumpet, and the, and the rapture take place, and uh, all the dead caught, caught them like this. He said, none of them will enter my father's kingdom. He said, can you see? Then he showed me the men, the brothers. He said, can you see the way they do? We saw some brother with, with punk. Punk, you know what I mean by punk? Running their, their head. And the book of, the book of Leviticus 19.27 told us, he said, ye shall not run the corner of your head. Ye shall not run the corner of your head. It is punk. Neither mark a beard. Neither mark your beard. Which is teddy. All you men that are doing teddies. Teddies. You, 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 you scrape here, you scrape here, and you now put a tiny beard and live here like this. God hate it. And he said, can you see that we saw some brothers with naked burger coming to the house of God. 
without some of them losing their body shit coming to the house of god they said can you see them he said none of them will enter my father's kingdom then he said i want to show you the men of god the men of god that i asked them to tell my people to prepare them for the rapture to tell them about holiness and righteousness see them can you see them what they are doing we saw some men of god we were watching them like a film from heaven he said can you see them we saw some of the men of god they entered they were struggling fighting for the post we saw some of the men of god they were you know fight, you know fighting for money we saw some of the men of God. That is why you saw some, you see some men of God today. They are not preaching holiness. They are not mentioning about sin, hammering of uh, you know on sin. They don't preach about coming of the Lord. They don't preach about rapture. They only based on prosperity, blessing, and breakthrough. Let me tell you the truth. We are not saying all these things is not good. The Bible says, seeking for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all other things. All other things is what people, the men of God, are placing before the church member. And let me tell you, all you people that are hearing me, you, the church, you don't have problem. The men of God are the problem of the church. Yeah. It's what they ask you to do that you do, that the, the Lord said, then you will follow them. And let me tell you this. He said, Can you see them? We saw some men of God, they enter underground to go and receive power for science and wonder. We saw some of the men of God, they enter inside the rock. We saw some of the men of God, they enter inside the sea. To go and receive power for science and wonder. So it's not a it's not a, a, a wonderful thing or, or things that is joyful or something like that. All the men of God that you are seen on television, rotting miracles, signs and wonder, follow blah blah blah, blah deliverance people falling, blah blah blah, without salvation in the life of the people is a waste of time. Jesus said, Many will say unto me on that day, we prophesy in your name, we heal the sea. We perform signs and wonder. Matthew 27, verse 21 to 23. He said, I will prophet to tell them, depart from me. I never knew you. You the workers of iniquity. You are working for me in it. I'm using you mightily, but you are committing sin secretly. You cannot enter my father's kingdom. So after revealing all this thing to me, he said, none of these men of God will enter the kingdom of God. Because not the power that I give to them that are using. So what am I trying to say? I'm advising you today. You need to change. All you people that are dressing, you call yourself born again. You are three years in your ring as a sister. All those of you that you are weaving your head, you are, you know, you are. I don't know yeah, this uh, uh, attachment or wave on, or you are painting. You are using foundation as a sister. Let me tell you something. This is worldliness. You can't get to heaven. And let me tell you, all of all that we, I'm included, those of all that we, as a sister, no hearing, no attachment, no waiver, you don't put on trusses, you don't put on this, your artwork is clean and neat and like that. Your artwork is like holiness. But let me tell you, are you truly born again? Even though you remove the hearing, you know attachment, no anything. Are you truly born again? I want thing I want you to know is that uh, let me make an example. An example. Let me just make an example. This is cop. This is cop. All right. This is cop. And uh, I have a, a glass of you know. This is water. And this is cup. Inside this cup is very dirty. And I pour, it's very dirty, but the outside is clean. Outside is clean. And I pour water inside. And I gave you water to drink. Will you drink it? Will you drink it? Okay. Wow. Can anybody tell me why? Because the inside is dirty. 
the outside is dirty but inside is clean but there is water inside for you to drink you can't drink it because the outside is dirty yeah now now okay now because of the outside is dirty now i now took sponge and soap i wash outside i wash outside i, I wash outside but inside is dirty and i pour water inside it for you to drink the water can you drink the water no 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 wow because inside is dirty but the outside is clean it's clean yeah inside yeah is yes inside is dirty then i now took the sponge and the and the soap i watch inside and i watch outside then the inside is clean the outside is clean and i pour water inside for you to drink will you drink the water very well yes very well why because the outside and the inside is clean god bless you that is what is called heaven present your body as an holy sack only your body your souls have been converted your heart has given its life to jesus but your soul is clean your soul your heart is pure but your outside is dirty with all this attachment we were hearing the but those of you that you don't use all these things but your inside is dirty you are still committing little little sin we need to revive this entire we need to revive god bless you god bless you yeah you know if i thought we, we have to continue the message tomorrow uh yeah um, heaven and air life program heaven and air life program uh the person who have been talking to you since morning is uh opposed to moses is uh, uh he is from nigeria uh in lagos uh, he is the one that God has he, God has taken to heaven and hell. He died for seven hours. He died for seven hours. And the person who is talking to you right now, right now, my name is Apostle Peter Daniel. Uh, this is Heaven and Hell Life program which we used to do every day, 9 a.m. to 10 o'clock. Uh, this is what the man of God has been telling us. I go Jesus Christ say TV from hell and he was seeking to heaven he visited heaven and that is why he's telling you all now you are listening the message now if you know that your life is not in accordance to the word of god you better go and repent now you better go and give your life to jesus if you know that if jesus come today you cannot meet heaven you better go and repent now that point you are bad Eh? You are a man, you are, you are babbling punk. You are a woman, you are wearing many skirts. The clothes you are wearing is very bad. The, the, the clothes you are wearing is very bad. You are wearing short skirts, short uh, this thing. Please give your life to Jesus. This is a right message for you to hear, a powerful message for you. Give your life to Jesus. Make sure your life is holy and pure before God. Because this is the fact. There's a statement that Jesus needs to tell me that I should tell the world. He said, No unclean things. In Revelation chapter 21, verse 27. No unclean things you ever meet ever. I mean, no unclean things. Title does not matter yet. Your worship does not matter yet. Your money does not matter yet. The country you are does not matter yet. That you are talking to me. That does not mean that you're going to make heaven. What is taking to heaven is the obedience to the word of God. Obedience. And when we're talking about obedience, complete obedience. God bless you, the mighty Lord Jesus. Let us meet tomorrow, 9 a.m. to 10 o'clock. 9 a.m. And in the night, we are having deliverance night every day. We are having deliverance every day by 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. every day. Make sure you are there. People who have been in the Liban program have been giving testimony. Telling me, testimony, the testimonies. Please make sure you are there. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our everlasting Father, we appreciate you for this message. 
We thank you because you are faithful to us. We appreciate you. Be that glorified in Jesus' name. We ask you that the message here today will do a mighty and powerful work in our life. And I pray that everyone listening to me right now will not end up in hell in Jesus' name. The power of the Lord will be over you the mighty name of Jesus. So shall you be. Thank you, Father, because you are faithful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Meet us tomorrow, every and hell life program. Bye.